Hi guys, welcome back to Enigma 77 Reviews. So today's going to be a little bit of a different video and I have a very good reason why I'm going to do this video today. And it's all about domain names and um, I'm just going to talk a little bit about it and the video was going to give you a little bit of instructions on how to pick and pay for your domain name and why it's necessary to have one of them. So if you're a small business or a YouTuber like myself or if you're a streamer on Twitch or very active on Twitter and you've probably found yourself in a situation where someone else has asked you how they can find you online. I myself have had that situation where my name's quite a long name as it been Enigma 77 Reviews. So you might have one name on YouTube but couldn't find a match on Twitter. So I had to pick another. Then when you go to set up on the store, on Etsy, the two names you've picked for YouTube and Twitter are already taken. Then there's Reddit, Instagram, Tumblr, and before you know it, you have to write every name down because you can't even remember them. Buying a domain name is cheaper now than it was 10 years ago, and it is really easy to do. In this tutorial, I'm going to buy enigmareviews.com and we'll set it up to point at my YouTube channel. I'll also use subdomains to point at my Twitter but you could also do this for Instagram, Reddit and so on. First, we'll try out enigmareviews.com. It hasn't been bought and configured so when we try to go there the browser hangs because it's not able to find where to go. It isn't necessary to ping the website, but I'm doing it to show there is no response. There are lots of companies that sell domain names, but I have found that Google domains are straightforward with no hidden cost. Some sellers give an introductory price, then one or two years later, you end up with a massive renewal bill. Google currently tend to charge £10 per domain per year if it's a .com or a .co.uk domain. You will need to have a Google account. We'll go to domains.google.com and as we are already logged in, we can click and get a new domain. Type in the domain you would like to buy. Be prepared to change the name you'd like, as it may already be taken. This one is available, so we can add it to the cart. You can add more, but we just want the one. Time to purchase. I've blanked out my card details and address for the obvious reasons. Now the name is registered, we need to point it somewhere. This way, when someone types in the web address, it will take them wherever we want to go. I'm a YouTuber, so I'm pointing the address www.enigmareviews.com at my YouTube channel. If you're a small business, you might want them to go to your Etsy store, so you type that in here instead. You can change some settings and it will work without adjusting these settings. But I like to make these small changes. That's set up and should now take people straight to my YouTube page. I can also set up subdomains. Our first has already been set up, 
www is the subdomain and it takes people to my YouTube channel. I now want to set up a YouTube and Twitter subdomain. Click on DNS, then scroll down to Synthetic Records. If anyone types youtube.enigmareviews.com into a browser, I want them to go to my YouTube channel. I type YouTube into the first box, my channel URL into the destination box. The final changes I make aren't essential, then I press add. Now, I want to add a second subdomain, so twitter.enigmareviews.com takes people to my Twitter page. Type Twitter here, then the URL to my Twitter page on Twitter in the destination box here. I then waited 15 minutes. It can take up to two days for the domain name to start working, but it can be quicker than that. Now when I ping www.enigmareviews.com, I get a response. This isn't a necessary step but it shows that there is no response. I type in www.enigmareviews.com and it takes me through to my YouTube channel as expected. YouTube.enigmareviews does the same. Finally, I can check twitter.enigmareviews.com. If someone asked me for both before, I'd say youtube.com slash enigma77reviews and twitter.com slash reviews underscore 77. Now, I can say www.enigmareviews.com and twitter.enigmareviews.com. They're a lot easier to say and remember. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Take care and I'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.